Hi everyone. It's Linda and Michelle. Hi. And it's Saturday <laughs> and we just left the theater and we saw King the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, right? That was the title. <laughs> I guess that's what we saw then. <laughs> Okay, right, well, we went into this with such high hopes. <laughs> it, yeah, kinda, yeah, but wasn't it wasn't what I expected. There was mm -hmm. there was an awful lot of violence in it for one thing, but um, it was also a little bit confusing for me, especially mm -hmm. as to I don't know where it was going. I guess yeah, but um, it started. After, we believe, after Caesar, the main ape from past movies, died. And then this was much later. And they, this time they had language skills. and But um, they weren't evolved very much because they were living in straw houses and things like that. So they, even though they had speech, they didn't have too much technology. Would you think? Would you say that? Yeah, I. Okay, so there's various tribes of apes. Which they call with. clans. Yes, and we start with the clan of apes who are bird watching, or bird, the bird clan. And they have eagles that live amongst them and like care for it. They and care the master. For them. Yeah, the father, the leader of this clan is like the one who puts out his arm and the eagle lands on his arm and that kind of thing. And they, they're his son and his friends are looking, f climbing through, um, through the woods, through the forest, trying to get to the highest peak to get to the eagle nest, to bring the eggs back because they're going to have their own eagles. I yeah, think that, that's what yeah, they were it was, doing. It seemed like it was a tradition. Yes. That they yes, would go yes. and get an eagle and then they would care for that eagle. Because and, he did say something, we'll care for them like we've been yes. cared and for. And this was a great clan, like had rules. They only, if there were three eggs in the in nest, they only took two. They left one for the eagle. They had rules they lived by that, you know, created like harmony in the, in the forest or in the, in the world, in their, in their environment. And then okay. while they were out getting these <laughs> eagle legs, eagle eggs, they found an echo or they stumbled upon an echo. And an echo is a human. And it was this girl like hiding in the woods kind of thing or something, I, whatever. Anyway, she turns up later at the, in the clan in their like housing in their, in their, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Their structure. Spot, their, their spot in the forest. Yes, and their structure. Their they had structure. Their homestead, they had yeah. two towers made out of like Stick. wood. Yeah. And, yeah. Out of, you know, trees and things. Because they were very good climbers. Yes. Oh, yes. They were very great good climbers. climbers. Yeah. And they, if they went out. I'm not, oh, so he broke his egg. When he saw the echo, he broke his egg and he was very upset and he was going to go out and get another egg. And this is Noah. This is the son of the master whose egg broke. So he's going out to get a new egg from the nest and he goes by himself because his friends already got one. And as he does, he runs into the echo again no she came later he runs into a tribe yeah, of really bad apes yeah who want who want to demolish the bird yes bird yes place. they want to capture them and take them away and um and boy it kicks off from there yeah pretty much i honestly found it to be really confusing as to what was really happening well, it was for me. It was hard to put the the human girl into the mix. Yeah, because the I human wasn't girl sure, yeah. actually befriended Noah. Yeah, and he saved her life a few times, and she saved his at another time. And 
and they kind of became pals. But the ending was a little weird to me, and I need somebody to seize this to tell me what all the ending meant. Somehow she was after what she called a book that was hidden in the nasty bad apes. Yeah, there was a structure there that they really did. It was a, a technical structure. And when they got to this structure, the apes found a book like a first grade primer. And they're reading about the apes behind bars. Yeah. And there's pictures of like apes in the zoo. And so like, I don't know. The ending was really confusing to me. I'm not sure what happened. Please somebody tell me. But I, I just, there was they were floating in the ocean. I mean, there was just so much action in this <laughs> was, movie. Yeah, it was, to me, she was a little bit confusing because she kept saying they're, they're, um, the humans, what wherever they lived, was attacked and everybody was killed by the apes, but she escaped. So I kept thinking that she was the only human left, but at the end... You can't give the end away. Um, it surprised me <laughs> as to what actually her motive was and who she may have been attached to or whatever. Yeah, but and I part... think there was a third clan of apes All as right. well. I think that when they, he was first, one of those attacks, there was this other clan somewhere in, at least it seemed to me. I don't know, I could be wrong. I, I really was they, confused they, by um, this movie. Uh, the other thing is too that um, Noah, the one who um, is, got, went looking for another egg and all that, he met up with um, a different type of gorilla ape, and he was he befriended him too. Well, that's what I mean. The one with the orange. Tribe. But it, it was only him. Yeah. Yeah, he was the one with the long orange hair. I think hair. it was Rocco or Mako or something. Rocco, mm, I think it was. Yeah, maybe. Um, uh, yeah, their names were a little bit different, most of them. But um, but he but he kind of explained things a little bit to. So the three of them, the the orange haired ape, Noah, and the human, were traveling kind of together yeah. to t try to resolve things and help with an escape plan for the the bird people clan. Somebody please yeah. explain this to me. <laughs> it was, it was in, uh, as I was watching it, I was a little more confused as I sit here and reflect on it a little bit. Uh, parts of it are kind of making more sense than they did when I was watching it. But um, At one point, there were the three apes, and I think the, the human girl, sitting around a fire. And I have to tell you, when I was a kid, my parents had one of those things that were like three monkeys sitting together and it was like monkey see, monkey do, whatever, <laughs> you know, whatever. I forget I know, the phrase, I know that right? But the three monkeys lined up. That's what I, I laugh it in my head thinking that's like the exact picture. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> and those were the exact, exactly what the monkeys look like. I mean, there, there's room at the end for another Planet oh, of yes, the Apes, yes, definitely. Yes, I could they, absolutely yeah, see me the too. They, they left, um, they left a little oh, bit hanging it is there. definitely ready yeah. for the next one. And that's kind of the part we didn't quite understand. Well, there was some things that happened right at the end that were like, I'm not sure how to interpret it. So I really do need... Yeah somebody to to give me a little guidance um i saw at one point the gun behind the girl's back and then i, I just she, she walked out into a field at the end and and it, it, noah was looking through a telescope at the end and they're just i need somebody to pull it together for me <laughs> yeah, this is probably another summer blockbuster because i'm sure yeah. that it is the theater was packed all the performances today were packed and they're running every 15 or 20 minutes yeah. in the theater. So well, a lot of, there's a lot of uh, Planet of the Ape fans. I mean, we were, we've seen 
I'm not quite sure how many there were, but I've way, seen them all I way think. back to the very first one, which mm -hmm. was so different. The costumes were so yes, different. Yes, I said that to Michelle as soon as we walked in. Yeah. As soon as it started, like yeah, the like, costumes whoa. have evolved. This, uh, these are like, these look like apes. But it, it was so interesting to me how they make the ape look like the person who is playing the ape. Because, yeah. You could actually, the well, facial features, you can And not see. only that, their eyes. Their eyes told a lot. Yeah. You know, it's, they had human eyes. It's amazing what, really, what what technology yeah, they, or what, yeah, they you know, what they can do They didn't have eyes at all. They had, like, yeah. blue eyes. And I remember <laughs> the first Planet of the Apes. Now, the, the current first one, not going back in the 50s yeah. or 60s, but... The current first one, and that was very different than what we saw today. I mean, they were like in costumes. These were not costumes. These yeah. were amazing. Yeah, they um, and they did give us a little background once it kind of started that um, they, there was some kind of disease developed yeah there was a back virus when caesar was there and the what the virus did is it made the apes smarter it it dumbed down the, the humans, humans. It, yes. it it hurt their intellect and it made them unable to speak and so the apes evolved and the humans did not yeah it's, it, that was the confusing part because um it just kind of didn't make sense as we got further in the movie. Yeah, it, it, yeah. I, I hope somebody here goes to see it. I'm sure there's lots of people yeah, that will go see I'm, it. Well, I'm sure there um, will be. I'm sure yeah. it'll get a, a, a huge uh, drawing. And it'll be in, I'm sure, for probably almost the whole summer. But let us know what you think. Let us yeah. know. You know, I, I I hate saying that I didn't like it because there's so many people are going to love it. I didn't hate it. I just didn't get it, I yeah. think. Yeah, and yeah. there was just, again, so much happening all the time. Just so much. No, I wasn't. I was... I was focused on it because honestly, if, if a movie in, doesn't interest me at all, I'm pulling out my phone and seeing how, how much longer it is. This one, I did not. Um, when I looked at my phone, I realized there was, because it was a long movie, it was two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at my phone, there was only a half hour left. I was just curious how much more we had. So, I mean, I was focused in on it. I was trying hard. To understand all the parts that were happening and trying to piece them together. But, um, so I, I, I mean, I liked it in that sense, but, um, overall it's not, was again, rate not it. really my kind of, how about you rate it first this time? I'm what are you going to give it? I'm going to give it a seven. You're going to give it just what I was going to give it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I was going to say seven too. I mean, I, I don't want to give it a six because... Because it really is. I mean, I there's, mean it's a Planet of the Apes yeah, movie and yeah. it re it's what you expect it to be. But, um, but, but again, we're giving how much we liked it um, and I'm going to say a seven also. Yeah. So. I mean, you may really think it's a nine... Or, or you may you think, may think it's, it's a five. Or I a was going to say, um, <laughs> you didn't know. And I also had a little bit trouble with the apes talking at the beginning. I don't know. Yes, I did too. Yeah, at the very beginning. Yeah, I had a hard I thought, time understanding. Oh no, I'm not going to be. Able, I was hoping they would yeah. subtitle it because. I didn't yeah. understand but, some of the things that they were better. saying. Yeah, it did. That got better pretty yeah, quickly. It did. Yeah, it was uh, just the first scene or two. Yeah. Um. Okay, so there you go. Now we want to answer that question that I mentioned in our last video that someone left a comment on a video a while ago and asked us to answer the question of why do we do this? Um, I, I Do you want to go first? Well, I can say it's, it's fun. It's fun to do. It's fun to take uh, your movie experience to another level where you're actually sharing 
Okay. Um, with an audience, hopefully. Mm -hmm. For me, <laughs> um, of it what was we're saying. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it was a way of keeping track of the movies. We've been going to the movies. Yeah. We we worked together yeah. um, for years and started going to the movies together. Probably. It's been a while. 12, 15 years now. And um, we go to the movies a lot. I mean, every week. And yeah. sometimes there were times in the past where we saw five or six movies uh, in a day. We would, we would sit, you know, we would plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did. We brought our we, lunch. Especially <laughs> when they had those marathons. Mm -hmm. I mean, we the we often did. Yes, we often did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we often, we didn't, uh, I think we did the Rocky movies like that. Maybe. Yeah, we did so many but, sets of movies like we, that. But those were kind of fun to do, you know. We <laughs> the would, Hunger uh, Games, all back to back. Um, mm. Just so many like but, that. When we did Twilight, I remember I even took my bedroom slippers <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> just to get comfy because we started at, I don't know, six and stayed till one, maybe yeah. something like that. So for me, it was a way to keep track because I would go and I would, somebody would say, how's this movie? And it's like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember. I've seen so many movies since then. I don't remember what it was about. I don't even remember. Like I'd see the name of a movie and I couldn't attach a, a, a synopsis to it because the name meant nothing to me. It was just another name of a movie. So I wanted a way to like be able to go back and look. Did we see that movie and how was it? Do we and, like and it? What did we think about yeah. it? Yeah. So that was number one reason for me. Mm -hmm. Um and I think, again, it was, like Michelle said, just kind of a, a way to share it. I always wanted, wished that someone would tell us whether they liked the movie or not. We used to go to Rotten Tomatoes, and we still yeah. often do. Yeah, but they're kind of... Mm. The, oftentimes they're looking for things that we're not mm -hmm. looking, they're looking for, for production value, right? And, right, things like that, and, and we're just looking for how the movie hit us. How, yeah. how did we uh, like or dislike this? Yeah, we movie? didn't. We certainly never agreed with what Rotten Tomatoes said. There were movies that they rated really low and we loved, and there were movies that right. they real weighed rated really high and we hated them yeah so we kind of thought that if we did this maybe it would be a place for somebody to quickly grab a is a movie worth seeing yeah we we kind of did it our way <laughs> yeah but so, you gotta remember yeah. we are two old ladies <laughs> Go into the movies with no prep. Just ah, eh, pick a movie yeah. off the off the chart and let's do it. And sometimes we have no idea what we're going to see before we get in the theater. So you yeah. know, take yeah. it for what it is. This is uh, you know, yeah. Different generations have different views too. I would think uh, for some of them because um, I mean I have a, a daughter. Um, not a teenage daughter, but in her 30s daughter. And a lot of times we'll talk about movies. And she loved some movies that I said, yuck. I did not like yeah, it at all. But um, but that's just, uh, you know, we all have our own yeah. opinions. And every now and then she'll we'll see a movie and say, Mom, I think you'll really like this movie. <laughs> so we share Or you that get sense. people that tell us we're not going to like this movie because yeah. of yeah. some reason. But you know what? We're both pretty open-minded people. Yeah, yeah. And um, there's not a lot of things that, like, kind of... That would absolutely uh, yeah. put, eh, no, 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 we're not... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we just pick them random. Yeah. So, but anyway. but I, do like, I don't like horror. That is, like, number one. Horror is not... I'm not going to a horror movie. That to me yeah, is. I don't like those either. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sci-fi is a little different. <laughs> sci-fi I could handle, and sometimes I like sci-fi. It depends yeah. on the sci-fi. Yeah, no, you know, I do. it depends on it. I'm not usually a sci-fi fan, but there are like I could I but could get it, into flying saucers yeah, and. Was it Avatar that we? I loved, loved Avatar. I know that I really Both loved, absolutely loved that movie. Yeah, yeah I mean, there we go, sci-fi, but. Mm -hmm. Really loved that. So yeah. it's it's you never know what's going yeah. to um, make us decide what we really like and 
and I really don't like them. <laughs> so, so if you have any other questions you want us to answer, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll answer them the next time. And, you know, we have some really awesome people who leave us comments and just kind of, you know, are pretty supportive of sometimes some of the crazy things we say about a movie. Um, thank you for being like that. <laughs> and right, anyway, well. we'll catch you in the next one. If you would, leave us a comment. Let us know about the movie. Like our video. If, you know, that would be nice. And if you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you join us. And that's all we have. Bye. See you next <laughs> week.